Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Keisha. So today's video is going to be a little bit different from some of the content that I typically post. And I try as much as possible not to post videos that are like negative, I guess. But at the end of the day, I can't just ignore the things that I've been seeing recently. You guys can see from the title. There are a number of videos that have been online for months, for years actually, but right now I feel like they're just picking up more and more and it's, it's, it's really upsetting. And the reason why they're upsetting, let me just backtrack a little bit. If you've never seen my face before, my name is Lakeisha and I usually post a lot of beauty, skincare, makeup, hair related videos. If that is something that you are interested in, make sure that you are subscribed. Without further ado, let's get started. Recently, I've seen a number of videos online from beauty brands that just have false advertisement and specifically where it concerns people with acne or people with troubled skin. Speaking from experience, I've suffered from acne for three to five years, give or take. All of my adult life, I've pretty much suffered from acne. Um, it gradually came up. I think around maybe 21 or 22 is when I had my worst severe cystic acne and it just lasted for so long. Many of you guys know my personal acne journey. I never had acne as a teenager. When I was in my 20s, I had no idea how to deal with my hormonal and cystic acne. I have spent thousands and thousands of dollars on medications, on treatments, I was part of a clinical trial for skincare. You guys don't know that, but I have some footage of what happened when I was in that trial and I've been meaning to film a video on it. So I'll be filming one soon, but I went through a clinical trial for acne. I have purchased everything under the sun to try to heal my skin. And to see these videos, just take somebody's insecurity and basically, give them false hope. It is, it's disgusting to be honest. I can speak to one specific video, which is where this, the inspiration for this video came from. It was a video of somebody with very clear skin. I'm not going to show the video at all because I, I don't think it's right to show that and to like bash on someone. That's just not the type of content that I want to produce. I'm going to speak about it, but I'm, I, I don't think it's right to single them out because they're not the only person who's been doing this. And, um, but the point is in the video, there was someone with very clear skin. Okay. I don't know if it was makeup added to their face or what have you, but somehow cosmetically, they made it look as though they had severe acne. In this particular video, you see the artist or whoever the person is, draw a line between you know their acne here on their face and the hormonal down at the bottom put on a cream on their skin rub it in and then take a cloth wipe it away and you see clear skin underneath the reason why this is problematic is because someone like me i've researched skincare for years to really understand how the skin works and how products work and how you know that works together so for me i wouldn't look at that and be like oh my god i need that product because they obviously have clear skin and it just made it go away. It doesn't happen like that. Acne does not go away like that. And as someone who has been through a lot of emotionally, psychologically scarring experiences because of my acne, there was a point where I literally wouldn't go outside without makeup on my face because I felt so bad about myself, about my self-worth. And like I said, I've spent thousands of dollars that I don't have to try to heal it on products from companies that promise these amazing results and they just lie to you basically. And what my biggest fear is that in that mindset, that frame of mind that you're in, you can't see sometimes that that is a false advertisement because you're looking for a cure so badly that you, you don't even realize that it's fake. These videos are preying on those vulnerable people. And I say that because I was that vulnerable person. 
And my biggest fear is that, especially teenagers who deal with a lot of acne because of the influx of hormones that are going on, women in particular that deal with, you know, period acne, hormonal acne. And my fear is that these consumers will run towards these products believing and hoping and praying that it will give them some type of result. You know, at best, it will do absolutely nothing. At worst, it could be extremely damaging to your skin. To get really real with you guys, when I was suffering from my severe acne, my cystic acne, I internalized a lot of those emotions. I never talked about how I felt during that time. I felt so worthless because I had this acne on my skin. And what made it worse is that I had a YouTube channel. I was basically showing my insecurity to the entire world. I felt like, who would take me seriously? I'm talking about skincare and how to make your skin better. And my skin was getting worse and worse and worse. And it affected me, it affected me psychologically. It affected my self-esteem. It affected the way that I carried myself, my confidence. It really broke me down. During 2018, my skin was at its worst. And I've had to go through a journey of accepting my skin the way it is, accepting myself for who I am. And, and, and since coming through that um, journey, I've now been able to find what works for my skin, find things that actually work, that are recommended by professionals that work for your skin. I've read so much. I have so much knowledge about skincare. I'm not by any means a professional. I'm just someone who enjoys skincare, someone who has spent a good portion, like 10 years. I think since 2013 is when I started getting into skincare. Around 2013 is when I started my YouTube channel actually and I started getting into makeup and I started getting into skincare. So someone who has dealt with it for so long, it was a journey that I had to come through to be where I am right now. Most people that are following me, you've had a similar story or maybe you're going through something right now where your skin is not behaving the way you want it to. And please know that it will get better. It's not easy. God, I don't want to cry. Um, it's, it's not easy. And, um, I'm sorry. Just don't get discouraged, okay? My skin is, is definitely not where I want it to be as of yet, but it is, it is better. And for anybody who's going, I'm sorry. <laughs> for anybody who is going through that right now, I hope that someone like me sharing that vulnerability, that realness with you, it helps you know that you're not alone. I know that when I was going through my rough patch, I was seeing so many people who were already on the other side. And I felt like that end goal was so far away from me. So what I wanted to dedicate my channel to was making sure that I was documenting that journey. It does not happen overnight. For some people, it may happen in three months. For some people, it may happen in six months. For some people, it takes years. The person who really influenced my acne journey, I can say, like more than anybody else, was Cassandra Bankston. And Cassandra Bankston is someone who I've looked up to for years. You know, she suffered from acne for 10 years. And by her sharing that realness is what inspired me to keep going, is what inspired me to keep striving for better for my skin, keep researching, keep trying new things, keep, you know, learning and keep that hope that it will get better. And Cassandra, you know, in her, I don't speak for her obviously, but in videos that I've seen from her recently, you know, she's managed to also heal her skin, but she still is very real and says that, you know, she has pimples on her back sometimes. She has some nodules on her face sometimes. And that's real. It's, it's normal to have skin texture. It's normal to have discoloration. These are normal things. Looking at some of these images, on Instagram videos even of people applying um, makeup on their skin or doing skincare videos or whatever have you, a lot of them are edited. And 
I will always say when I've edited my images, you guys know in my videos, I share with you guys what I look like with makeup on and what I look like without makeup on. So you can see if there's any redness, any discoloration, any really texture in my skin. And then when I have the makeup on, it shows you guys the the actual, yeah, the actual texture of my skin. And it shows you guys if there's bumps, if there's, you know, anything going on. And I show you both to be as real as I possibly can. Skin is not perfect and that's the beauty of skin. I have fine lines here by my mouth. I have crows around my eyes because I smile a lot. I'm a very happy person and I love to share positivity. And the reason why I do that is because I've been there. I've been in a place and maybe I'll go into detail on that in a different video when I feel comfortable doing that, but I've been in a place where I have not been happy. And the reason why I create this type of content, the reason why I'm so passionate about what I'm talking about is because I was there and I know that there's so many other people still there. And I just hope that, you know, these type of videos will give you hope. If you have other topics that you want to cover, if you're going through something right now, hey, message me, message me on Instagram. I speak with people in my Instagram DMs constantly. Email me, my email is down below. If you need someone to speak with, if you need advice, if you need just to vent, let me know. I'm here to be a friend. I'm here to be someone that hopefully you feel comfortable reaching out to. If you need someone to listen to, whether it's regarding skincare or just life in general, please reach out. I know that with, COVID, a lot of people are going through a lot of things. And, you know, it's, it's important to have people around you. If you want someone who isn't so privy to whatever is specifically going on in your life and you kind of want a different perspective, just talk to me. That's what I'm here for. I love you guys so much and I thank you for listening to me babble and cry and ramble on and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day whether it's morning, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. I love you. Just thank you for inspiring me to continue making the content that I am. I love you guys so much. Bye.